One advantage of making these videos as a more mature person is that I get to share lessons that I have learned from my younger years. And I have some items that I bought through the years that are not worth the money that I would like to share with you to hopefully help you save both time and money. Welcome to my channel. If you're feeling overwhelmed and tired and would like tips about simple and healthy living, then spend a few minutes with me. As a young child, my parents taught me a lot about saving money from their experience as immigrants who came over with very little. As a result of my upbringing, I had a propensity to adopting simple life practices since we did not have a lot. However, as my parents made more money and when I moved out on my own, I started to accumulate more stuff some of which were useful, but other things were not. So looking back on my many years of living, I will share five categories of items and two specific things that I feel are not worth the money and hopefully help you not only to save money, but to simplify your life. So here are seven things not worth spending money on. First category. Brand name clothing. I'm all for quality and will gladly spend money on well-made clothing. I learned from someone who works in the clothing industry that the main difference between clothes found at a budget-friendly store and high-end name brands is sometimes just the label. Yes, there are stores that do have better quality clothing and are worth the price because they last a long time. So if you're buying clothes that are good quality, then that's one thing. However, if you're buying brands to form an identity to impress people, then you should rethink what your identity is based on, especially if the brand you want is not affordable for you, not your style, or the quality is low. My second category of things not worth the money are trends. Trends come and go, and unless you really like a trend, buying things to keep up with a trend is not only a waste of money, but exhausting. I know because in my younger years, I fell into the trap of buying into a trend thinking is fun or current, but after a short time, I find that I don't care for it anymore. Like the spiralizer that I got thinking I was going to make those cute zucchini or potato spirals. I think I used this for a year before I realized it's too much work to set up and then clean up. After I make this video, I'm donating it. Third category of items not worth your money are things bought just because they were on sale. This category was my biggest weakness because I like to find bargains. However, my sale items sometimes became a collection of random items that became meaningless. Or sometimes I buy an item on sale not because I need it then, but think it can be useful later. Then later comes and I either forgot about the item or can't remember where I put it. So now I try to stay away from sales if I don't need anything and do a little more research on quality items that I need or would like and wait for them to go on sale if I'm not in a hurry to get them. This next category is a marketing tactic that is so easy to fall prey to and that is bigger sizes of something because you think, it's only 50 cents more for the large drink. Yes, it's a small amount of money, but if you do this on a regular basis, then the cost adds up quickly. Now, if you want the bigger food or beverage item and you can comfortably finish it, then go for it. However, if you're forcing yourself to finish the bigger portion or throwing away the extra food, then it's not worth the money. And before you do spend that extra 50 cents, ask yourself, do I really want more of that sugary drink or that ultra processed food? Think of it as saving money and your health. Next, most souvenirs. I know when we go on vacation, we want something to remember our trip by. I used to buy a magnet from every place that I visited, but then there's only so much refrigerator space and I didn't like how busy it made my fridge look, so I stopped buying them. If any of you have any ideas on how to display a magnet collection that doesn't involve the refrigerator, please let me know in the comments below. I would love some ideas. Anyway, I started to find that the typical souvenir selections got tiring, but that's just me. I still like to look at gift shops for something unique, and the two things that I sometimes get is an interesting or really pretty postcard that I can include in my scrapbook, or something consumable such as tea or snacks. Otherwise, the thing I take the most of when on vacation is photos and videos to help me remember. My sixth thing not worth the money is something specific, and I'm probably going to make a lot of people mad with this next one, but I'm going to say it anyway. It's college education that will give you debt for most of your adult life, especially if that education will not give you skills for a career that you want. 
Anyway, as a college professor in both a community college and a four-year university, I see students excel in each environment. A university education is worth it if you have a strong idea of what you want to do, and it's in the field where you do need the education and training, such as being a nurse or a physical therapist or an engineer, and you are not going to spend the rest of your life paying off your education. There are some majors that are useless, where getting that degree didn't really give the student a marked advantage in the job market. Now, community college is great for those who are still trying to figure out what major or career path they want, and you're often taking classes from people who have been in the field and can give you better insight than professors at the university levels because some of them did not work in the field and only have theoretical knowledge. I could say so much more about this, but just think about this category, especially if you are parents or students out there who are already struggling financially. It's not worth adding the burden of a student loan to your financial strain. I gave both my kids a budget when it came to their education, and yes, it limited some schools they could apply to or accept admission, but we didn't need to take out student loans. My last item is a bigger house. Now that my kids have moved out of my house, I can't tell you how much I appreciate the decision that my husband and I made not to upgrade and get a bigger house. Oftentimes, it was tempting to get a bigger house because so many people we knew were doing that. However, now we are in a house that is easy to maintain and we don't need to downsize for a long time, if ever. Plus, there's less room to accumulate more clutter. I know there are good reasons to have a larger house, so if that's in your budget and lifestyle, then that's great. I just think for my family, our house was enough. What else have you found not worth the money? Please let us know in the comments below. We can all learn from each other. If this video is helping you, please hit the like button and subscribe for future content on Simple Living for a Healthy Life. Remember, in the end, the person with the most toys doesn't win. They've just left a bunch of stuff for their family to declutter. So, avoiding things not worth the money does help you save. However, spending money on things that are worth the money may also help you save. So watch this video next to find out more. Until next time, remember to stay healthy and live simply.